Well, hello. How are you all today? And welcome to Integrated Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith, and I'm going to tell you something that I don't usually tell you, and that is you need to buy more guns, and now's the time to do it. Uh, since this is going to be about guns, just to let you know, this is becoming one of our biggest sellers on, on the uh, Stonemont.us website. Shot placement is everything, and it's on both sides, of course, and uh, some of the rounds right there that most of you have. And uh, if you'd like one of those, just go to stonemont.us and order as many as you want. By the way, we, we now sell this particular one in a set of four. You can get them individually or a set of four. So check it out. Uh, why should you buy guns? There there are times to buy guns, just like anything else. There's there's time to buy real estate. And there's times not to buy real estate. There's a time to buy stocks and a time not to buy stocks. And the, to the time to buy things is when they're low and you think that something's going to happen to drive up the price. You don't buy when, you're, when, when they're high. And that's been kind of the situation that real estate and stocks have been in for a long time. Guns have come back down, whether it's rifles or pistols. If you remember uh, back during the Obama years, uh, they really, uh, well, there was times you couldn't find any, right? And, uh, and then the prices were just unbelievable. I mean, back then, I remember, and I don't sell much. But I remember that uh, there was a time nobody could find any 22, and I had a lot of 22 because I I've been buying it over the years, and I was selling boxes of 22 for 10 bucks a box uh, that I had bought for 249 a box, and I tell you that's a that's a great return on your investment. That's why I'm suggesting that you buy guns right now, whether you need them or not. Hopefully, most of you don't need guns. Okay. With, by that, I mean, hopefully you have as many as you need. Uh, maybe some of you don't, and now's the time to get them because guns are not necessarily at a historical low. I mean, you know, and when you speak historically, it depends how far back do you want to go to be historic. Uh, the last, the last, uh, 1911 that I sold, I think I sold it in about 19, Mm, I don't know, late, late seventies. I sold it for $250. I had bought it in about 1975 for $125, a beautiful Colt combat commander in satin. And uh, I, I bought it for $125. And when I sold it several years later for 250, I thought I had really made out. Well, I, I did make a hundred percent profit on it. Uh, but you know what a Colt combat commander goes for now? Uh, so it's one of those things, the longer you hold something that continues to appreciate, the better off you're going to do. Uh, so right now we're in kind of a, a, a special situation that uh, gun prices have come down quite a bit. They're, they're, not, they're not as low as they were oh, before Obama came in, right? Uh, but they, they are pretty, pretty close. And I've seen some that when they go on sale are... Uh, Oh, well, I mean, as low as what I paid for them, uh, uh, what, maybe 10, 12, 12 years ago, something like that. I, I don't remember exactly right. But during the interim there, they skyrocketed. And the prices went up, 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 and up. And then everybody uh, ran out. You couldn't get any. And, and, and then it's just whatever the buyer will pay. It has nothing to do with the recommended price, right? So uh, those prices are down. Uh, you can get them. They're all in stock for the most part. And we have something with the election coming up that, uh, you know, it's, there's a lot of uncertainty going on. Now, whether, whether, whether a gun is a long-term or a short-term investment, it's always an investment. Uh, and I would suggest more than one, however many you can afford. Uh, it, it just depends on what happens, you know, along the way. And a lot, all that's politics. It's politics. And, uh, so with the elections coming up, uh, there is a danger that, that Kamala Harris, Kamala and Tim, uh, win. They very well could. They very well could. Uh, hope not, but they could. 
And if they do, you can be sure that they're going to start coming after the guns again. Okay, they're going to, and they're, and if if they happen to turn the House and and increase and and, and the Senate, uh, there's nothing that they won't be able to do, and we know what they want to do, right? And a lot of what they want to do has to do with guns. Uh, it's also going to make it a lot more dangerous uh, place to, to live in America if, if they win. So you want those items for yourself. Uh, coming up into now, we're, we're talking here, this is the end of August. Uh, a lot of the places are going to start having sales on guns. Uh, this, the fall is a time they have a lot of sales on guns. Um, I just saw on Kentucky Gun that they had a bunch of... Uh, uh, police, uh, well, a lot of blems, number one, and then a lot of police trade-ins. And I love police trade-ins. Now, I don't like, I don't buy used guns from people that I, I don't know, uh, but police trade-ins I will. Uh, and they had some great deals on them. So I would suggest you take a look at that. Uh, don't go into debt in order to, to buy even an investment, but now would be the time to do it because uh, the sales are coming up, um, and after the election, if Camelot gets in, the prices are going to start skyrocketing, and every got everybody's going to be out there buying. They're going to buy what they can, and that's going to cause a shortage. This that's the way it goes. That's what happened last time. You know, it is. Uh, there wasn't a twenty-two shortage because people needed more twenty-two. It was because people were afraid and they wanted to buy because they weren't afraid they were going to get anything. They weren't going to be able to get any. And so that's why people who had it could sell it at a great profit. Now, now ammo. Now, what, what kinds, if, if you want to know my suggestion on what guns to buy, I would buy ARs. And this has completely depends on what you can afford. Okay. I would, I would buy ARs. I wouldn't get the fancy ones. Don't get Daniel Defense. Get the basics ones, you know. Better to be able to get if if you're gonna if you can't afford multiples, uh, better than to get uh, you know three or four entry level ARs and one Daniel Defense because they're all gonna go up. They're just gonna explode in in what people will pay for them if Harris wins. They're gonna they're gonna start going up. Okay, I forget. <laughs> Let me see if I can pick up where I was. Uh, but but it's it. The prices are going to just explode. It'll start if she wins the election. It'll increase. And then once they get in, uh, if they get in on January 21st, 20th, 20th, uh, they can start putting out their little executive orders. And uh, then it's game over. So do it now if, if you can, if you can afford it. Now, what kinds, what I was saying, what kinds I would suggest, I would suggest ARs, and then I would, I would suggest pistols, auto loaders. Uh, Glocks, I, they, if you want to buy Glocks, they're, they're higher priced than others. You can get some budget guns, and you can get, like I say, if you can get three instead of one, you're going to do a lot better because the, the one more expensive one isn't going to increase in price nearly as much as the, the lower level ones because people are just going to want guns. Uh, so, you know, get, get the basic calibers, get the 40, the, uh, you know, the 10 millimeters. Now this is one case where I would say, uh, and I might even buy some nine millimeters and you know that I am not a fan of the nine millimeter round. That's why the nine millimeter is not on the cup. Uh, but other people want it. And so, you know, if you're looking at something to invest in, Invest in what other people are going to want to buy because something is worth what somebody will pay for it. Now, ammo, should you buy ammo? Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't need it. Here again, you should already have all the ammo that you need. For how long, Steve? For the rest of your life. You know, and that's one of those things. If you've been buying ammo for years and years and years, you ought to be set. Uh, but, uh, if you don't want to dip into your stores and you realize what's coming down the road, uh, I would. If, if your funds allow you to buy more ammo just as an investment. You know, and maybe you want to use more to practice. It, the, the world is becoming more dangerous. 
So, you know, again, get the common calibers, get the nine millimeter. And, you know, I think that even though I'm not a fan of the nine millimeter, probably more people shoot the nine millimeter than anything else. So probably I will buy uh, some, some nine millimeter ammo. Because if it comes to the point where, again, the prices are skyrocketing, and uh, and I have some, and I'm able to, you know, get some to people. Um, we're both going to be in good shape, right? If, if if they can buy it from me from less than what they'll buy, and I'm not a, I am not a dealer, you know, it's it's a personal sale. I'm I'm not out there advertising it, you know. But we all know people, right? We all know friends, and uh, and you know we are getting some very good Supreme Court decisions. Uh, concerning the Second Amendment issues, right? So I, I know this thing about, oh, everybody's going to have to, you know, e even a, you know, a transfer between friends or brother and brother or something like that. You're going to have to, you know, claim that you're a dealer. Well, I don't believe that that's, that's true yet. And I doubt that it's going to hold. So anyway, uh, that's my advice. I would suggest it. Um, what's coming, it's going to be interesting, right? This is why politics is important. I hope that you all are involved. I hope you all get out there and do your part. Uh, but in any case, this is, this is why politics are important. So before I let you go, just a reminder that this and every one of my videos is brought to you by our sponsor, my books, the Stone Knot series, the complete collection, seven novels, the reversion, the revival, the renewal, renewal, the an Appeal to Heaven, Blessings of Freedom, Hostages to Fortune, and the very latest one uh, on Wings Like Eagles. Uh, the complete plan, I say, for preparing for, for surviving and rebuilding after a total collapse of everything. You can get them on Amazon, the link's down below, or you can get them directly from me through our website, and that's the best way to get them because then I get to sign them for you and uh, write a little note in there for you and everything. You can get them through our website, stonemont.us. And we have a special when you buy the whole set. A lot of people do that. And then if you get a nice discount, and then we throw in the Stonemont notebook for you too. So those links are down below. Also, it's the Stonemont uh, website where you can buy this and and uh, many other of our mugs. I'll give you a closer look there. Shop placement is everything. And then on the side, we have some of my favorite calibers, the the 40, the 357, the, the 45, and the 10 mil. Okay, there you go. So think about that. If you got extra money, this is the time to do it. And I wanted to let you know this now because, uh, you know, in, in case you need to kind of see where you want to put your money this fall, the place is going to have them on sale until the election. And if it goes wrong, then it's going to be a problem. Okay, y'all have a good day. Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. And preparing for your self-defense and also preparing for uh, investments is important. Y'all have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.